Hi folks, you're watching Jiffy Info. I am Jiffy, and here is some info. So yeah, hi folks, thank you for joining me for a new Jiffy Info show. Uh, I'm doing another E3 video, it seems. <laughs> Um, I can't not really, E3 is everywhere at the moment, and there's so many cool things to talk about, I thought I'd mention them. So, um, here's going to be like my top few <laughs> um, games or announcements from E3 that I'm just going to sort of talk about. Um, I will not be mentioning Fallout 4, apart from right now, uh, because I've already talked about it in a few other videos. If you haven't seen my other videos, check them out here. Um, they're going to be they're just like sort of gameplay analysis sort of things um, and if you might interest you might share opinions share um, my views I don't know but have a look at them see what you think um, so I'm going to sort of negate that and um, take that away from this video if I was going to have a top five I'd probably put Fallout 4 as my number one but that's enough about Fallout 4 let's move on to other games that piqued my interest so the first thing I'll talk about is Just Cause 3 this wasn't going to be on the list because I wasn't expecting it to be that wow, you know? I mean, there was a massive leap between Just Cause 1 and Just Cause 2, and I love Just Cause 2 for the most part. But shortly after getting past the initial wow factor of massive explosions and huge, I mean, we're talking massive open world, uh, I don't know, it's kind of lost on me. The whole, the whole thing was kind of just like, oh, well, we can just do the same thing over and over and over again. Um, the world didn't feel lived in. Um, it didn't really have any sort of the, well, the storyline was shite. Let's just let's just face it. And they have they've announced that you know they're not aiming at storyline. That's not what they're after, which is which is fine because that's they're admitting to it. They're saying we're not looking for a great storyline. We're just looking for a game to have fun in. Kudos to that. I'm glad they admitted that because they are not very good storyline writers if that's their um, if that is what they're aiming to achieve a good storyline. But they're not. So anyway. Um, I really uh, didn't think I'd talk about it, but it looks cool, and they've said that instead of making the world bigger, from what I've gathered, they're actually they're keeping the same size map, which is enormous in the first place. It's 400 square miles, um, which is huge. I mean, I've I have not I've seen so much of the map on Just Cause 2 that I have never seen, and I think just the size of the map is good. It's a perfect size map, and apparently they're not going bigger; they're just going more in depth. There'll be caves to explore. There will be um, hopefully buildings to walk in and out of. That would be brilliant. I don't think that's going to happen though. It's just wishful thinking. But it looks like they've gone a little bit more um, detailed, you know? They've talked about destruction, various things like hinges on doors of cars, things like that. And I like the sound of that. It actually looks... It looks good. I, I'm, I'm excited to see it. I had the uh, that initial impression with Fallout... Um, Fallout sorry, it's on my mind, isn't it? We just caused two. But... Um, I'm hoping that they've kept, they've improved it enough for me to stay interested for longer in Fallout 3. Oh my god, Just Cause 3, Just Cause 3. Anyway, um, we'll have to see though. But I'm putting that on the list because I think actually from what I've seen, it looks really cool. And um, the new wingsuit, um, some of the new um, like animations they've got in there as well. Like instead of just landing and doom. He actually lands and he kind of like gets up and he, everything looks a bit more well it looks like it's a new generation it looks like it's actually fitted to the new generation of console and pcs to the standard and they've, they're supporting mods as well so mods will be growing but yeah that's something i'm really excited for so hopefully um it's actually gonna you know be as good as i'm hoping i think it's coming out as well i think it's early 2016 i should have the dates written down i'll put the dates in the link in the description or something in the uh here Game number two is Star Wars Battlefront. Um, I had some serious reservations about this game when I first heard about it. I loved Battlefront 2, I loved Battlefront 1, <laughs> but I just think that when they announced Battlefield Battlefront 3, it didn't really... Oh, I was concerned about it again, a bit like Fallout 4, that's back in my mind again. Um, they took out space battles in Battlefront 3, they they um, m like limited the count of maps to like to a small amount of maps even, it was like, I think it was meant to be six or something, an initial um, release or something, but apparently it's been clarified there's going to be more um, maps now, it's going to be like two, it's going to be six planets and two maps per planet or something. But you'll see the gameplay up here, Hoth looks fantastic, I was talking to my brother about it recently, he said the whole thing 
that captures the atmosphere perfectly. They walk out of that hangar and oh, wow, it just looks like you're actually in the, in the movies. Um, same kind of deal with the uh, walking around on, I'm not sure what, where it is, it looks like Moss Eisley maybe? God, that's, uh, I'm going to piss off too many nerds, but when they're walking around in the co-op section, it looks like Moss Eisley with the whole sort of um, desert um, structure kind of thing going on. It looks really, really cool. So that is going to be something that's on my radar now. I wasn't too fussed in the first place. I thought, ah, oh, they've probably done something wrong with it. They're probably cutting corners and trying to make money um, somewhere in there. But it actually looks like they're doing a really good job. So kudos to EA slash DICE, whoever was really responsible for it. I guess it would be DICE or EA. doesn't matter. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that now as well. That's on my, that's on my um, radar. Game number three. Um, Uncharted, how couldn't it be on this list? It looks amazing. It looks so cool. Um, I have um, watched. I watched the original um, footage they showed where he's in the jungle, like last year. Um, they've now plunked us into what looked like a temple originally, and then you blast, you blast through the doors, and they're in like this large um, city landscape sort of place. And he's like pointing over to one area he needs to get to, and they have I, I, the amount of physics in that bloody game. It's it's insane. Every Every single um, pot, pan, pineapple <laughs> has physics. Sand. It's like they're shooting sandbags at one point. And it's just all spraying out onto the ground. and It's just something that you... I have all these other games you expect you see on the, on the PlayStation system. Or any system for, them, for that matter these days, including PC. You, you look at it and think, it looks good. But then Uncharted comes along and it takes everything that every other game is doing and exceeds on it, just that one extra bit, sometimes by a bloody mile. It just, it's really impressive. And um, I know that if if the whole PS4 system was a complete whitewash in the first place, um, Uncharted 4 would be the saving grace. Because it, the whole IP is just basically the forefront of the whole console. And it's amazing, it's really good. Um, another thing is when <laughs> I could I, this impressed me when you know he jumps into the jeep um, and you think every other game that would do this I can think of you jump into the jeep you think right um, you know you're you're, you're going to sit on like a main gun turret you know that sort of thing no uh, nine chapter four no you're the one driving it and it looks amazing and it looks like you can, I mean obviously you can go wrong I'm sure. But there's so many different avenues to take, it's like crossing here and crossing there and going straight and going right. That's the sort of thing that Uncharted do I've done here, clearly. It was far more open, like play, um, choice of path, whatever. Even beyond what was original. Um, they had a horse in the last one, Uncharted 3, and you had a set path and that was it. Um, there was a large open expanse at one point where you could go in and out of areas, but it was still you in this grid. It looks far more like you've got this grid, but within that grid you've got all these different paths in Uncharted 4. But yeah, I really can't wait for that one, so that's going to be, um, that's also very much on my radar. It's coming out uh, early, no, sort of mid next year. It's going to be like, let's say April, May next year, I think. No Man's Sky is number four, and the reason being isn't necessarily because it was an absolute marvel to watch what they've done. It isn't like this crazy um, set piece that they had like in Charters. It didn't have the perfect, you know, timing of Luke Skywalker and um, Darth Vader going bzzz with their thing um, with their lightsabers at the end. It didn't have all of that. It didn't have any of it. All you had was the Sean Murray, the uh, creative director, the, the founder, whatever of everything on No Man's uh, No Man's Sky. He just said, check this out. I'm going to go to a planet that you guys haven't seen before, um, and it looked it looked so cool just to be able to pick any planet, any of those white dots <laughs> uh, on the screen. You can pick them, pick any of them, go to it, check it out, and discover stuff. Um, as he was like going around destroying the world, destroying the planet that he was on with this little like uh, multi-tool thing. Um, it had uh, like all the chemicals and um, periodic table type things coming up saying this is what you discovered, blah blah blah. Uh, you had um, NPCs which are more like um, apparently space police, I guess you can call it, make sure you don't destroy their planet. Um, 
visually it looks it looked gorgeous in the fact that it's pretty and just lovely and it's coming out for PC so I, mean, I don't want to take anything away from it with um, with the PS4 but I'm getting it for PC just because I know that it's going to be able to run better I'd imagine there'll be mods for it as well but kudos to them they're doing such a good job with it another thing just worth mentioning with Sean Murray the, the greatest director he doesn't like pressure from what he stated in the interview he said I don't, like, I don't like pressure I don't like the press I just want to make my games and release my games and have people enjoy it. Um, I think he had a difficult time explaining that he wants people to know about it, but he doesn't personally want to have the press on it. He is rather, I think, just like almost post an envelope through someone's door and just say, by the way, here's a game we're making, check it out. And what I'm worried about is people may not know that about him and people are going to sort of harass him and say come on give us some more gameplay footage do this do that do this and I think he's managed to avoid most of that up until um, well he's managed to avoid it and I don't want people harassing him so <laughs> out of defense of this guy um, I mean I'm just some bloke here but out of defense of this guy I want people just to chill out let him make his game let him make it the way he wants to make it um, with his team and then get it released I think we need to be patient with this one because he's obviously creating something that no one has ever done before um, taking inspiration like little nitpicks of different games like Minecraft and stuff like that. Anyway, that's enough of that. Um, but that's my top four. Yeah, I guess it's four. Top four um, games of the um, uh, E3 this year so far. I don't think there's been any more big ones that have really piqued my interest. But there might be something in the future. We've still got a day or so left. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I have been Jiffy. You've been watching Jiffy Info. And I'll catch you guys another time.